Hello, hello everyone and welcome to Divine Day Boo. This is Kathy speaking. Thank you so much for joining me here. Um, the messenger is here, so we are reading the energies. Energetically, what's going on in the cosmos and possibly in our own personal lives. As the moon is transiting through Cancer, it's in its home. Uh, so there's depth there, there's sensitivity, there's uh, maybe possibly also things that we're needing to look at uh, emotionally. Things coming up from the past as well, obviously, uh, relative to relationships, possibly a romantic or with a female in our lives, could be a mother figure. Right, Mercury is retrograding in the sign of Taurus. We are looking at values. We're looking at self-worth. We're looking at our monies. Um, we're revisiting old situations as Venus, which rules Taurus and the North Node, where the North Node is of the uh, moon. Um, we're needing to figure out... Uh, talk about, understand uh, situations that we'll be revisiting from the past, right? Mercury retrograding in a Venus ruled sign and Venus in Gemini. It's all about decisions, right? Twins, the twins. Multitasking, possibly. Choosing between two situations, two people. Let's see what What's going on? Let's see what's going on, dear spirit. Thank you for your guidance. I want to thank you all for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting, being here, first of all. And let's see what the energies are moving forward. As we are in between eclipses, so let's see what could be going on eclipses obviously are taking something away from our lives we've had an amplified new moon which was an eclipse at the last degree of Aries Aries right Aries cardinal fire Jupiter is there amplifying the fire happy birthday if you're a Taurian and you've got your birthday it is Taurus season fixed earth Venus ruled Taurus decisions around money decisions around uh, romance relationships decisions uh, with anything to do with Venus's peace Venus's materialism it's things that we own it's our money in the bank let's see what the message is today what is the focus? We've got the hanging man, Pisces. A possible ending of a cycle as well as Pisces does rule the 12th house. Needing to see things from a different perspective. An uncomfortable situation. Needing to wait. There's some karma playing out here, no doubt. Hmm. We are talking about sacrifice or possible things that have been um, you've been confused about possibly with mercury retrograding as we do see the sun on her head it's like she you know gets the understanding or someone's possibly looking at things from a different perspective there could be clarity concerning the past pisces is compassion unconditional love sacrifice but can also be deception Let's see what's going on. Nine of Swords. A lot of stress, anxiety and worry because of something not panning out that we've been waiting on. Possibly a cycle that we're hoping to close. Nines are all about endings, right? This is a thought process. Nine of Swords is our perception. Remember, Mercury is our perception. It's logic, where things of value, where love, where our money in the bank, what we own, our property, our land, our comforts. But also, because Taurus being the natural second house, Uranus is there. 
Uranus is about radical change, unexpected changes where something's been really stuck and change is never easy. All right, so just this card, he tells me that we're coming into some endings as we're looking towards a, a full moon, a lunar eclipse on the 5th of May on the axis Taurus Scorpio. It's a full moon in Scorpio. It's a dark moon always in Scorpio and it will bring up fears. Remember the south node is in Scorpio. So we're needing to end something that we no longer need. We need to get out of our comfort zone. But there's a lot of worry. Remember Taurus Scorpio being fixed signs and change is never easy for us humans. It's never easy. We get comfortable. But the hanging man, which is Pisces, is mutable energy. So spirit is saying some sort of a change is necessary. And run with it and trust because this is a card of faith. There will be a return of what you've given. What you've given out is coming back to you. Let's say your sacrifices are being returned. This is like a reward for me. Now, this could be worries around money. Something is ending, no doubt. And there's a lack of understanding, not seeing clearly, possibly, not seeing the return. Yet, the reciprocity, I mean, this could be legal issues as well. Six of Pentacles, reciprocity, giving and receiving. Um, maybe not having received what you've worked towards, what you've sacrificed yourself towards. This could be a relationship, a partnership. What I get from this card is like, there is an ending here. We're coming to the end of the worry. Two cards pertaining to endings. We've got a card of balance. Uh, Libra and energy for me, obviously. Libra is justice, right? It is partnerships, relationships. Um, it's peace as well. I do see the Six of Pentacles as a very karmic card many times. Wow, everyone. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. Wow, this is a new beginning. This is a potential. Ace of Cups is like a gift. It's a seed that we plant. It's a beginning. But it's also self-love. Some of us have been waiting without, uh, you know, loving thyselves. The hanging man is sacrificed for others. Remember, Pisces is on the same axis as Virgo. And Virgo, which is right across Pisces, which is all about, you know, multitasking, working hard, putting in extra effort, discerning and not needing to, you know, letting go of the details because this is a very, um, a very strong card of, you know, the left linear brain. It's what how we think. We're seeing things as very dark. But there's great promise here. We do see a white, a white bird like a... a it's like the, you know, oh my goodness, this card wanted to come out. Wow, it's incredible how that happened. Again, Pisces. It's like needing to believe that there is a, a, a shimmer or a, a ray of light that is coming in, but she's not focusing on that. Remember the birds are messengers, signs, synchronicities. It's like not believing and fearing the worst case scenario. But we see here that the possibilities are amazing here. A page of Cups, an apology, a return, a small offer of love. If it's not love, it's creativity. It's creating a situation here. This could be a worries around a youth. Um, could be a teenage person, a young adult, right? This could also be an offer. Let's, let's go from the beginning, or this could be an unexpected offer of someone that's returning, that's reciprocating now. Someone's been waiting for a long time for this offer. 
we also see the love heart here oh my god <laughs> i was looking here and we've got the knight of cups page of cups knight of cups there is a message of love here knight of cups thinks twice and three times as they take their time to come in because they fear being hurt but here i see that um in this deck right in the light seer's tarot there's no suit of armor on him and he's got a bouquet so this is a beautiful offer coming in there's a lot of desire a lot of passion even though we're talking about water i do see a lot of red and the red is fire so someone who probably has strong fire in their chart as well the desire right to make this offer it's, and what I see with a horse here, and we know that horses are all about action, uh, knights are all about movement. We know that this is a knight that usually comes in slowly. But it looks like there's been some sort of a transition, a maturing process that this knight needed to go through. We do see a um, letter here, some news. Re um, this could be an email, this could be a an SMS message. And I see the horse, either there's a lot of happiness here or it's like the horse is on, on, um, on stage, um, putting on an act, wanting to sell itself, like putting his best foot forward. I would say is that's what's going on with this knight and we've got a queen of pentacles here everyone queen of pentacles uh capricorn virgo taurus queen of pentacles uh very um stable she knows her worth she is the minor arcana of the empress we do see a possible age difference or a maturity difference Queen of Pentacles, mother, sister, friend. Queen of Pentacles, she's very, um, very, how can I say? She's, she's always going to be there. She's always someone that people can go to that, that is very patient. Earth is very slow, very patient. So we've got earth and water here. Good match. And there's a decision, there's things up in the air pertaining to some sort of an offer. I don't know if this has got to do with work, because in actual fact, we've got three pentacles here. And again, it's like she's, she knows her worth. Look at her. She doesn't need, um, she doesn't need for someone to tell her how, how beautiful she is or how, powerful she is or how good she is how capable she knows she knows her value so i suppose for some of you i guess this could be a, also a taurian queen of pentacles here we've got a water sign we've got a water sign we've got an offer on the table i want to see what what the wisdom of the oracle wants to advise I also get Sagittarian energy with the Knight of Cups. Sagittarius for some of you or a foreigner. Um, because of the red, because of the mail, the letter, which needs to travel, right? Physical distance, possibly. Um, and a great desire here, but there's great, there's a lot of romance. There is an offer on the table which will a uh, spark would which will bring a spark and emotional happiness thank you co-create co-creation we've got here co-create let's read number 40 creativity art inspiration fruition manifestation you may not consider yourself a creative person, but in fact, you are creating your reality every moment of every day 
via your thoughts, feelings, beliefs, intentions and actions, yet you must consider that you do so in partnership with spirit, consciousness, God or whatever name you call your higher power, you are a spark of this intelligence that works through you, nudging you with inspired thought and intuitive guidance. You are a paintbrush that co-creates a beautiful, unique expression of your own individuality, blended with universal spirit. You are a product of divine inspiration, and now you're aligned with it to create miracles. When you view your life as art and know you co-create it, only beauty and grace uh, result. Prepare to be amazed. So we're talking about some sort of an amazing offer here. Where relationships or partnerships are concerned, connections of the heart serve to inspire you, opening you up to new ideas you would never have come to on your own. You are looking in a mirror held by this experience and seeing yourself in an unexpected way. Who is this extraordinary being looking back at you? You are going to be so happy that you kept your heart open. Your love is a unique work of art now, the very embodiment of beauty. And where prosperity is concerned, flashes of inspiration give rise to great success. When you receive this message, you are at your most creative now and whatever you apply yourself to will lead to the fruition of your dreams. Remember that all your ideas are channeled from a high source. You create your reality in partnership with spirit. The potential for manifestation is, manifestation is unlimited now. Uh, revel in its vastness. So there's fine energies here. There are fine energies here for new beginnings, new creative beginnings. It's like your energy that you've sent out to spirit is being returned. And I see playful energies here, risky energies as well, wanting to take a risk. I mean, remember that Pisces is very unexpected and the uh, Page of Cups is a very unexpected offer that comes in. Let's see what's going on with the uh, Finder Sickle Kipper Fortune little oracle. What are the energies playing out? What is the advice, dear spirit? Community. We've got the letter here, news again. These could be legal contracts, right? This could be a message. This could be anything. And we've, this is coming from the main male. So someone that you've got on your mind, it's more than likely a divine masculine. Uh, because this is a general reading, I suppose it could be someone that's more inclined towards the um, yang energy. So someone that's ready to take action, let's say. Uh, yang energy is fire, so the Sag or possibly any other fire sign, someone could have strong fire in their, in their chart, even though we don't really see it here. What's, what else? What else? So there's news coming in. Someone, a uh, divine masculine more than likely, is thinking of doing something radical and unexpected. Now we see a lot of thought, um... Thinking back to the past, keeping someone in memory. I mean, we I this I get very strong Uranus energies as well as Neptune, which can be very spiritually inclined, very um, much about the divine, um, or just flashes, flashes of inspiration and thought pertaining to communication. Okay. Wow, wow, everyone. One of the most uh, most positive, dreamy, but sort of wish-fulfilled energies are coming through. We've got something coming in which is very positive from the distant horizons, right? Which is like something that someone has dreamed of, has imagined, has envisioned, A very positive card. It's like the rewards come in. Something that will give you a sense of stability. This is like creating. Um, it's like a real realization of a dream. 
because we've got the anchor here unless someone is picking up with the anchor the anchor does speak to business but also stability a contract a long-term relationship or partnership possibly something better is coming in or there's a change a radical change which will work in our favor and it will come very unexpectedly and we've got the coffin here very scorpio very scorpionic energy the coffin speaks to pluto and scorpio the full moon lunar eclipse is happening in scorpio wow the coffin is an ending obviously um something is needing to be left behind something that's rusty that's old and new energies are coming in what i get is it's like we're leaving the energy of saturn and moving towards uranus so where there have been blockages radical and unexpected turns will take place which will uh, bring an ending an ending to those blockages to the limitations to the worry uh, it's like having carried something that's old, rusty, outworn. And of course, endings bring new beginnings. What's at the bottom here? We've got high honors. So this is um, being recognized. This is a, a something honorable that's coming in. A great reward I get here with the high honors and there's the main female we've got the main male and the main female so that i get recognition here i really get recognition recognition for someone's efforts a time of reciprocity now a time of co-creation and a co-create is a number 40 which is a four that's the emperor and the emperor speaks to leadership speaks to taking charge being recognized uh taking the throne uh like a reward uh remember that pages are messengers and this is an inspired creative happy message that comes in very unexpectedly Remember that the coffin being a 19, 19 is Leo, and that speaks to leadership as well. What's going on? We've got mail. You've got mail. The messenger is here. Something that, Seven of Swords, something that was uh, hidden. There's great intelligence here. News that was, or information that you did not know about is going to come into light. Right. there's happiness we've got the garden here eight of swords eight of swords is our perception of blockages but we've got a round table here this is also happiness where reputation possible second chances um something about being social some sort of an invitation to a party a gathering a, a nice meeting here even though there's worry around it and there's we've got the queen of wands here and this is the snake this is like again the scorpio energy the full moon the snake the snake speaks to something being planned it's moon in cancer which we're going through right now this is strong attraction but there's also wisdom there's knowledge that's coming in now something information that was forbidden you will find out about there could be shocking revelations surprises this is also a very this is an invitation to a um a romantic get together possibly also a sexual invitation something romantic that could turn um more sexual or just much deeper right there's a great desire here and there's a craving there's a deep 
craving. Some of us will be finding out about some sort of deception, things that were unknown, which we need to know about. It's like we're being put, um, you know, in the front seat. We've got front seat to what needs to be revealed. This is collectively as well as individually, dear friends. And this front seat, uh, front view, um, first seat, it's like being honoured, being put in first position for this. What's the word that I'm looking for? Some sort of a viewing, some sort of needing to see something. And we've got the Ten of Hearts here with a dog, which speaks to friendships, loyalty, admiration, devotion and support. And the card moved on its own. Beneath that is the King of Wands. So we've got King and Queen of Wands here. Good match. But we see the clouds. We see the clouds, which is, you know, someone uh, masculine holding on to things that were secretive. Uh, they were holding their desires back. Whatever it is that they're creating, there's been worry around it. But the uh, devotion and the loyalty is what will bring the happiness here. Ten of Cups, right? Which can also speak to a restart, starting over again, maybe on the right foot this time. Someone did sacrifice. Someone's been waiting. Let's take a few more cards. What is that hanging man about? Dear spirit, what is that hanging man about? There's the king of wands. We know the king of wands. He chases his desires. He creates. It looks like uh, he's ready to chase his desires. He's ready. Uh, and we've got the lion to take leadership, right? Leo comes up very strongly. What is the worry here? Page of swords. Truthful communication. A decision. This is Gemini. Too much thought. Uh, worry could be around, mm, I don't know, some sort of doubts or immaturity or information. Information. We've got uh, an ace of swords here and the nine. That's ten swords. So someone is fearing the worst here. But remember, Gemini, Gemini is Mercury, right? And Venus is where Gemini is. So there will be communication information pertaining to partnerships, business collaborations but also values and love remember the page of swords is the spy we see her walking on a tightrope here someone is maybe uh trying to come out of too much logic and just run with their desires what is that six of pentacles about there's the three of pentacles nine pentacles Nine Pentacles speaks to the individual, singlehood. But also this is possibly collaboration or, um, yes, some sort of success where payback is concerned. Money coming in. Reciprocity. Someone's ready to collaborate. Seven of Cups. And the Eighth Cup that the uh, Ace of Cups is. Seven of Cups is someone making a choice, having many choices sort of not knowing what to do again pisces energy hoping to make the right choice and we've got the ten of swords as i said ten of swords ten of swords we see that she's turned her back she's it's like she's leaving the confusion because we've got eight cups here someone is emotionally checking out of a situation they know, I mean, nine of pentacles, someone knows their value. Remember that queen of pentacles that we saw? What else is going on with this ten of swords? Because ten of swords is an ending. It's the darkest before the dawn. Remember that the eclipse, which we're already in eclipse energies, we're in between two eclipses. Being in between eclipses is like being on a seesaw, being in the middle going back or going forward i would say it's more about going forward not fearing the dark the darkness right 
and trusting even though we see here in this this uh, card here that he's split in two split in two a difficult decision to let something go is it a collaboration is it a partnership is it leaving a partnership there could be information that's coming up uh, someone could be finding information here and we know that there's leadership in the king of wands so leo sagittarius aries leo is very strong obviously and this turns into the ace of swords which is a victory card logically but it's it's not easy and it could also be children in the situation or someone that was quite immature having gone through a maturing process or there's a child involved within this decision, which makes it very difficult. We've got the Four of Pentacles holding something very close to one's heart. And again, this is the miser. Where there's been, where there's been uh, stinginess, stinginess where, where emotions, feelings, love, actions, whatever is concerned, because for, we've got the Three of Pentacles and the four and the six fours always speak to the home or to someone's emotional or physical securities here so something is at play here remember we've got the miser card here but i believe that the dog which speaks to loyalty i get this as being very loyal to a certain situation whether it's to a son or to a relationship or to a home it's a difficult ending to a cycle but but remember pentacles speak to practical matters and being grounded not being up in the air right being grounded three and then four let's take one more and we've got the Knight of Swords. My goodness. It's like where there were stuck energies, things are going to start to play out. Knight of Swords, look, we see him in a big rush. In a big rush. There's a lot of communication, difficult truths coming in. We had, uh, we've got the Knight, the Knight of Cups, and we've got the Knight of Swords here. This is slow. This is quick. And we see the bow and arrow. It's like targeting something. Now this could speak to... Um, Being called to action. Being called to action. Legalities, possible separation, trying to rush at something. Remember, it's Mercury retrograde. So we're revisiting old situations. I will take um, some Sibylas on this, on the outcome here we did say we had the queen of pentacles she's sitting on a decision things are up in the air she needs to trust her intuition the high priestess which high priestess pisces again and we've got saturn in pisces it's like bringing the truth where there's been confusion illusion unknown matters going on Let's see what this Page of Cups is, which is the original uh, outcome. What is ending here? What is someone rushing that they were holding on to? Holding on to pain, holding on to uh, or great challenges where decisions are being are being necessary to make it's like a message comes in and then the ball starts rolling we've got the doctor doctor here which is a number 13 very scorpio energy it speaks to healing 
also someone being humbled someone who maybe had a very big ego being brought down to earth through challenges there it is there's the saturn uh, energies nine of swords so things legalities contracts um dealings with the law some sort of karma um obligations timing there is the letter again my goodness and it's the two of pentacles which again is all about a decision things being up in the air yes we will take one more there will be communication there will be news coming in and we've got fal falsehood and falsita the four of pentacles again it's like someone's racing to catch up to a situation a new possible beginning but not trusting that they'll make it on time this could be uh, legal papers or something to do with contracts which someone's going to have to act very quickly for we've got two and a four pentacles which is the six of pentacles which is here so again going back to business or money matters or um receiving this we see a lot of worry but the original cards say that there will be an opportunity here And remember high honors here and the dream but something needs to be something needs to end something needs to end we've got the message again oh my goodness and the message comes from afar logically There's the Three of Swords and we've got the Vedavor, we've got the Widower here or someone who is in solitude, someone who's had a disappointment. So I'm getting that we're going through challenges and difficulties before we can get to the goodness. I mean, the Falsita speaks to distrust, but remember that cats have got nine lives. Also, cats could be very playful. Sometimes cats could be sneaky as well. They take from you and then they sort of use and abuse you. So there's distrust here and that's why someone's protecting with the four of pentacles they're protecting their money their heart i get needing to go through the fire needing to trust uh needing to be wise needing to be smart i want to take one card on the snake here and we've got the dilemma here queen of pentacles and she's uh, number 22, which is all about a dilemma and a portal opening. Decisions needing to be made. Unless this is a divine masculine that's making a choice, choosing between two different divine feminine. We've got a queen of pentacles, which we already saw, as well as a queen of wands. So someone checking out of a relationship or a partnership. Unless this is the Queen of Pentacles that's making a choice. What's this dilemma about, dear spirit? And we've got a wish fulfillment. It does speak to nostalgia, the past is six of cups. The choice that will be made is the right choice. The stars speaks to progression towards goals. It speaks to uh, uh, a dream come true it speaks to optimism neptune in pisces right this goes back this is speaks to uh, winter and nighttime something happened on a winter night or is happening i feel it's got to do with the past it is in relation to a soulmate a relationship from the past but also it is connected to youth and ch children and remember that the stars 
very much the star as the Aquarian energy, Uranus, the this lunar eclipse is going to be on Uranus. So expect the unexpected. Be ready for quickness, action, taking action. And you need to trust as well because it's going to be It's going to be like very radical and it's going to bring the change. But there's there's the the ability to succeed with high honors in whatever um, is going on around you. High honors could be recognition that you are recognized at work through a partnership, through a relationship. Even though there's some sort of a lack or disappointment possibly in the past, there's news coming in. We've got the letter, uh, strong communications. This could also speak to contracts pertaining to a home. It is a seven. Seven is the chariot, right? Chariot meaning cancer. Eight cups is emotionally checking out, moving on, moving forward. But also someone's making a choice here because the original card is the Ace of Cups. This is someone who had opportunities, many choices, but there was a lack of clarity. Now with the uh, Pisces card here with a Page of Cups, this is like needing to see through, uh, see, look, uh, see through the veil um, using the eyes of the heart through one's emotions and through love. We will find that the decision that's made here will be the right one, but you need to trust that and let go of anything that is blocking, blocking you, blocking this forward momentum. Again, an ending with the Ten of Swords turns into the Ace. It's a victory card. It's clarity. It's seeing clearly. It's perception, but it's also cutting out, cutting out the distrust, trusting in your abilities to make the right decision. All right, everyone. What's beneath the main female? We've got expectation. Someone having to wait on being honored on a new position. Remember, we spoke of the emperor. Poverty, see, having gone through the mill, having needed to wait. And now there are high honors. And it is a number seven again. And seven is a very spiritual number, my dear friends. All right, I hope that this helped. Uh, I want to thank you all for liking, sharing, subscribing and commenting. I will be back tomorrow sending you all much love, uh, much light and stay strong, stay um, hopeful and I'm wishing you well. Thank you all. Namaste.